What's up guys? Welcome to Tuesday evening eggy cheese toast. I know it sounds hilarious, but that's what we used to call it. My parents used to make this for me all the time and it's delicious and I'm making it for you guys. Well, I'm making it for me, but I'm making it, I don't know, I'm going to be eating it, but I'm, I'm going to be making it on camera. So guys, first thing we need is the egg. It's called eggy cheese toast, so it's exactly what it sounds like. And I know these ingredients might sound strangely familiar, but I gotta just be honest, it's been a little while since I've been to the grocery store and kinda running out of groceries. <laughs> so this is what we got. We got bread, we got eggs, we have cheese, <laughs> we have butter, and that's what we're gonna use to, to make stuff. Now I know this isn't gonna be the most gourmet meal ever, but hey, I gotta eat something. <laughs> it was either this or ramen noodles and I went with this. I figured you guys might be ticked. Maybe not, maybe you guys wanna see me do ramen noodles. Maybe we'll do that next week. But, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be answering the questions as we always do. If you're brand new, this is what we do. You send in questions on Twitter, after I ask, what should we talk about? You guys always send such great questions. So, first one, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I usually start out with a little update. So what's going on? We still got Dragon Ball Xenoverse going on daily, and I'm sorry for those of you who aren't really into that series, but it's my first daily series I've ever done, and I really wanted to keep that up. So we got that going. I did a fly in the house, I did what else? The I Am Bread in Space. The I Am Bread Zero Gravity. Oh, there goes that. Wow. Well, okay. It's going to go over there now. The I Am Bread Zero Gravity. That was so much fun. And what else? That's pretty much it. Dude, are these going to stay separated? Nope. That answers that question. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. All right, so that's what we got going on. Flyboys, I'm so sorry. It's been a while since we've done another Flyboys, but I'm telling you, we'll talk about this a little later. Minecraft stuff just takes a lot longer to record than other series. So because of that, I can't put up as many videos. Unless you guys didn't mind if I derp around a little bit, but a lot of people don't like that. If I put up a video where I'm not being like, productive or like doing a lot of different things or a lot of different things don't happen, people get mad. People get mad. <laughs> and I want, my, I aim to please. My goal is to make people happy. And when I'm making people mad, that is the opposite of making people happy. <laughs> um, okay, we're talking about this later anyway. So, first thing is first. Wow, this is kind of strange. Huh, yeah, this is, a little bit strange. <laughs> I don't do a lot of fried eggs, so please forgive me. All right. Uh, all right, first question was from Kyle. He said, if, there, if you could see one game from your childhood remade and redone really well, what would it be? And the first thing that came to mind was Battletoads. I don't know if you all are familiar with Battletoads, but Battletoads was an amazing video game. It was and is. I still like it. But I think that would be cool if they did a remake of Battletoads. I saw it's making an appearance in a game that's coming up. What is that game called? Wow, we're gonna need more cheese. The game is called... You know what? I'm running low on cheese. Let's just spread it like this. We're going to have a little toast without cheese on it, but what are you going to do? I'm running low. <laughs> we'll put some toast with cheese in the toaster oven. I don't remember the name of the game, but there's a game coming out where Battletoads make an appearance. So that is the game. Great question. And I ask you guys the same question. If there's a game from your childhood that you would like to see redone, what game would that be? And don't say Battletoads because I already said it. Next question was from Sam. He said, do you believe when you die it's all over or do you believe, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? So for me, I've mentioned it in other videos that I'm a Christian, so I believe the Bible. 
I believe there is a heaven and a hell. And for a lot of people, it's kind of difficult to believe that because it's kind of supernatural. You know, it's not something that people have ever seen before. So when you're talking about stuff like that, it, it can be really hard to believe. And even for me, it's kind of difficult sometimes to think about it because like I said, you've never seen it before. But I've made the decision, I believe the Bible, what the Bible says. But really, you know, it is kind of supernatural, but I feel like, did you hear that nose whistle? If I was live streaming, this would definitely be, definitely be a time to do the pundit's nose whistle emo. Um, but I feel like just life in general is supernatural. Like people, like the things, like the things we do, having vision, having smell, having hearing, like the way our cells work. Like when you, when I learned about how cells work, that was just, that just blew my mind. I'm like, that's, this is magic. This is insane. Um, the fact that the earth is the perfect distance from the sun and the moon, all that, it's just, to me, I, I feel like it's supernatural. So it makes it a little less difficult for me to believe in something supernatural. Uh, but like I said, that's my, that's my opinion on it. You know, not everyone has to believe what I believe. Everyone believes their own thing. So let's crack these open. I don't like, I don't like a runny yolk. Let's, let's just open that up. There we go. Can I flip this? Is this, is this flip ready? Huh. Whoops. Okay. Well, <laughs> what do you know? <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, that wasn't flip ready. <laughs> Sometimes when you're cooking, you learn things. All right. Every time I cook, it's a learning experience. And the thing I learned today is that wasn't ready. Um, but yeah, like I said, not everyone believes the same things. Not everyone has to believe all the same things. Uh, but this is what I believe, and I think it's a great question. Next question, Frostop07 said, if there was one career that you could try out just once, what would it be? And that was an easy one for me to figure out. Haha, -ha, that one flipped. That was an easy one for me to figure out because I know, I know exactly the career that I would like to try out because it's always interested me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dude, that's not too bad. We can slap those on some toast and cheese. So the, the mystery career is graphic design. I love graphic design. When I see graphic designers work, it makes me happy, it makes me feel good. When I do design things, it makes me happy. It makes me feel good. So I've always thought, you know, graphic design would be fun. I think so. All the designing I've done pretty much is for my channel. So I don't know if that's one of the reasons why I enjoy it. Like I probably still enjoy it if I'm graphic design, like designing something for someone else. But you know, that's, that's basically the answer to my question. What I, what I think would be fun to try out as a career. Maybe put in the comments, what about you guys? What What's a career that you'd always, you've always wanted to try? Uh-oh, whoops. Haha, <laughs> not burned. Just on the verge of being burned, check that out. <laughs> whoops, okay. Now, yeah, what was the next question? Oh, Alyssa said, did you and Jay ever decide, you and Wills on my door, ever decide who was the pickier eater while you're at PAX? No, we were gonna sit down and like figure out who's the pickier eater, and we didn't. Although, Frostops is actually a challenger. He's very picky too. We laid out a lot of different things and it's really close. I don't know. I still don't know who's pickier. Like, I don't know. We still have to figure that one out. Last question was from Utley SOS and also Hope Starter asked this question. They were just asking, okay, what's going on with Hermitcraft? Are you on like a hiatus or something? Is there gonna be more Hermitcraft or what? Great question because I, I used to do a lot of Hermitcraft. It was my main series and I kind of haven't been doing any in a while. I feel bad about it and it's tough I just, I, I say this a lot, it's a question I get a lot in my live streams. 
I just don't want to start it up if I can't maintain the series. I'm having a hard enough time like maintaining the Flyboys, that's my main Minecraft series. It just takes a really long time to record, like to, when you think about designing a base, gathering the resources, that's like one hour to two hours to design, one to three hours to gather a resource, one to three hours, four hours building it. In that amount of time, I could record 10 videos of another series. So that's why it's really difficult. And I don't, huh? I don't want to start it up if I can't keep it up. Hermitcraft is not out of the question, but for right now, I'm currently not doing it, but it doesn't mean in the future I won't. Um, yeah, so I'm really sorry that I'm not doing any Hermitcraft right now, and the, the guys have a great policy to where, you know, once a hermit, always a hermit. Well guys, this is it. This is the eggy cheese toast. We got toast, we got cheese, we got egg on top. Oh baby, dude, I gotta eat this right now. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I don't know, maybe we'll do ramen noodles next week. I'll try, I'll try to do something a little more complex, a little more delicious. I don't know, ramen noodles are pretty delicious. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Good dude. Okay, let's put it, oh no, he dropped it. Oh no, no, go get it. Oh, we're ninja butt, baby. Dude, let me, let me look at you. Wow, look at that ninja robot, dude.